Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I apologize if my last video was a little bit short. Um, didn't really have a lot to say for the uh, Alien Invaders, other than just, you know, it's just a fantastic movie. Just see it. Absolutely just see it, enjoy it, whatever. Um, Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island, however, I have much more to say about. Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island is supposed to be, was supposed to be the first big introduction of, uh, ooh, the monsters are real this time. Basically, Daphne, Blake, it, I, I really like, the one thing I love about this movie is, uh, on Zombie Island, it shows you that the gang has kind of disbanded. It's not like the live action movie where they got into a huge fight, they're like, eh, fuck you, fuck you, and they all split up. No, they disband because they have their own lives, and... Scooby-Doo and Shaggy are working at an airport as security contraband. Um, Velma owns her own occult bookshop. Fred's doing something. Oh, yeah, he's a cameraman for Daphne who's doing, like, reporting stuff and TV shows and uh, things like that. And for Daphne's birthday, uh, Fred gets the idea to get the whole gang together and go on, like, you know, uh, film another TV show. Try to find real monsters and stuff like that. That eventually brings them to this island, this bayou in Louisiana, where they come across these rich chicks, or uh, this one rich chick and her servant, whatever, who uh, worship a cat god and become werecats and kill people and turn pirates into zombies a while back, and it's a whole shit show. Basically... I really like this movie because it's definitely a cutaway from your normal Scooby-Doo stuff. One, the creatures are real. It has happened before in Scooby-Doo, but like I said, way back in the 60s, I'm guessing uh, the Reluctant Werewolf and the Ghoul School and the Boo Brothers, I'm assuming all of that was just part of, was it Hanna-Barbera? Maybe it was Hanna-Barbera? I don't know. I assume everything on Cartoon Network was made by Hanna-Barbera. Uh... I'm guessing it was just their attempt that, oh yeah, Scooby-Doo's just, uh, he's, he works for uh, Hollywood. Those were Hollywood movies. So in the new canon, uh, Scooby-Doo has never actually faced a real monster. So, insert Zombie Island. Uh, the Zombie Island comes into play, real monsters, they don't work for Hollywood anymore. However the hell that canon works. And uh, that's how it goes. So, I really, I really honestly love the, just the story is just amazing. Like, these women worship cat gods, and they become werecats, and they drain the life out of their victims. Like, this isn't Saturday morning cartoon stuff. This, this is fucked up. This is very scary. And the fact that they have, like, the voodoo dolls and everything, very, very good. Very good combination of things. Um, little bit of a... Me personally, I think, uh, I, I heard from some people, very rarely, very rarely I heard this, don't ask me to name names, but very rarely I hear that, oh, it was a letdown, that in the end, the zombies were good. Well, they weren't exactly good, they were pirates, well, it's a combination of pirates and party goers, uh, they were pirates that are trying to warn people to get off the island, otherwise the cat goddess people are gonna kill them. Um, and I was kind of glad that the zombies weren't evil. That's a, that's a nice change up. And this is old. This is like back when like the zombies, all they did was kill everybody. These said, no, the zombies in this are good. They're trying to help the good guys. So I'm like, okay, it's a, it's a good change up. It's a good switch. So I thought that was super interesting. Uh, also the entire vibe of the movie is just very, very dark. It gives you a real, like, I think it's really good. Like Southern undertones. I really love the whole build of the movie and uh there was also uh going back to adding characters i'm probably going to name each adding one time adding character that i love for each of these movies Bo, Bo something uh agent Bo. he's actually he works for some agency or some crap and he's on the island posing as the a gardener to investigate the disappearances in the bayou via the cat people Bo, I thought was a very good character. I don't know if he's made any other appearances throughout the Scooby-Doo medium. I have to go back and check that. I'm relatively sure I heard somewhere that he might be in a newer Scooby-Doo series. I'm not sure. I'm definitely going to check it out because I think he is a very cool character. 
Uh, most people said he was cardboard. I've heard a lot of complaints. I thought it was interesting. He looks like the kind of guy that maybe they could make a spinoff series out of. Though I know that is never going to happen because he was not that popular. But he's an able he's an able bodied character, I think. So, uh, as I was saying with uh, Alien Invaders, Lester was my favorite character in this. Bo is my favorite character in uh, Zombie Island. Now, I think another thing Zombie Island brings to the table is definitely a new kind of, and this is definitely what they were going for, a new tone to the Scooby-Doo universe, as in things can get very, very dark. They can and they will get very, very dark. And this film definitely introduced, like, they didn't hold punches. Like, these cat people massacred these people. There's claw, there's zombies, there's claw marks all over them. You could tell. And especially with the pirate, Morgan Moonscar, coolest pirate name ever since Jack Sparrow. Or since before Jack Sparrow, since technically I think Morgan Moonscar came first. Amazing. Amazing pirate, amazing backstory, amazing everything. And the setup... Of, uh, definitely in the movie, the first time I was sh absolutely shitting myself was when Scooby and Shaggy fell into the grave and they're trying to get out and all of a sudden the freaking, uh, zombie just starts to, like, collect them, like, manifest in front of them with, like, the mist and everything. I was just like, oh my god, this is one of the greatest, coolest scenes I've ever seen. And <clears throat> the whole thing, especially when they hit the one zombie with the car and they put him up against the tree... And then it's like, he's dead, and they're like, okay, I think he's down, I think he's done. And he just starts, like, getting up again, it's like, they couldn't have done it better. Um, so once again, definitely, Zombie Island, fantastic film, great soundtrack for the chasing scenes, and I definitely recommend it to everybody. So, uh, yeah, next video, join us for the Cyber Chase. I'll see you guys there.